Good morning, Cardano Nation. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to take a minute to celebrate the Liquid Finance Protocol, which has officially launched on the Cardano mainnet. If it's your guys' first time hearing about Liquid, they're going to be a platform allowing users to earn interest, borrow assets, and build on the Cardano network. They're going to be offering four core features, which include the following, the ability to lend, the ability to borrow, the ability to farm, and the ability to stake. Now, I just released a fully dedicated video highlighting the actual test net in which I walked through the process of supplying test ADA. I also walked through the process of borrowing test ADA, repaying that ADA back, and then withdrawing my initial supply. So if you guys wanna find out more about how the liquid platform works then make sure to check out that video and before i continue any further i just want to take a minute here just to say that my goal is to provide you guys in the community with the latest news tutorials and reviews and if you guys are looking to help me along my journey in educating the broader cardano community then please consider staking with the official dap central stake pool which is stake pool ticker d-a-p-p I really do appreciate that. And again, it does go a long way. Jumping back over here, it says, good day, Aqua Farmers. We're happy to share that the Vacuum Labs auditors have completed the code review phase for the Liquid V1 smart contracts. Now, this was released um, two days ago. So this was on January 31st of 2023. And since then, we have seen the official launch of the actual mainnet app. So it says here you can access the app at app.liquid.finance. We are pleased again to announce the Liquid ADA market contract is deployed on mainnet and available for lending and borrowing transactions as it continues to read you can now earn 2x yield from cardano staking rewards and supply apy directly in your wallet by holding the qada token if you don't know what the qada token is this is going to be the token that's provided to you when once you supply on the lq platform and then you can then use that qada as collateral when you're actually going ahead and borrowing additional assets now as it mentions here right now you can only um, supply ada and borrow ada so if i just quickly jump over to the actual main that website here you can see that right now those are the two assets that are currently available now i do believe that they do plan on adopting additional assets again um, they haven't given a specific timeline but i also wanted to just quickly address one of the points mentioned here which is the um, cardano staking reward so there's been a lot of different questions within the community and i jumped into their discord in order to actually get some clarification on this point here so when you actually go ahead and supply ada to the protocol that ADA is then taken um, you don't have to turn over your signing keys but that's taken into their smart contract and then from their smart contract they actually have I believe it's 16 different SPOs or stake pool operators which are listed right above me right now now once that ADA is deposit into the smart contract it is automatically staked with one of these um, spos and so again keep in mind that this is going to be one of the ways that the liquid team is going to be providing people with um, additional yield now once you actually go back to um, withdraw your initial supply then you will actually receive the initial ada that you supplied the apy from the protocol in addition to your ada staking reward so keep that in mind now, I did also ask a little bit about the LQ staking program, and they have not provided any additional details on that yet, but it is in the works. So if you hold the actual LQ token, you will be able to stake that as well in order to receive additional rewards. Or it might actually be the other way around. You might be able to stake your QADA tokens in order to receive your LQ token. So again, there is still a little bit of uncertainty um, or some clarity that needs to be given to the community and I'll be doing my best to keep you guys updated especially as the um, staking rewards or the rewards around the LQ token or just staking around LQ um, generally speaking come out in more detail now if I jump over here I want to also highlight the fact that the LQ team will be having a collective zap in on MinSwap. If you guys don't know what MinSwap is, this is going to be one of the top DEXs right now on Cardano. Now, a collective Zappin will allow for them to, um, I guess, create an additional liquidity pool or maybe grow their liquidity on the MinSwap platform. So it says here that it's going to be starting on February 7th at 3 p.m. UTC on the MinSwap launch pool platform. Now, in order to learn more about the collective Zappin, they've got a fully dedicated Substack listed here. So let me actually pop that open. So as it states here, it looks like the team will be using this collective Zappin in order to bootstrap the protocol owned liquidity 
for the ADA slash LQ liquidity pool on MinSwap, again, via their collective zap in feature starting on February 7th. So that's really it there. Now, the very last thing I wanted to do with you guys is just quickly jump over into MinSwap and take a look at some of the price action given the main net launch. So we did see a really sharp price increase over the um, first day or two once the actual main net and the code audit was confirmed. However, since then, we have seen the price of the LQ token sliding quite dramatically, actually now trading at a lower price than it was within the last month of January. Now, I do want to be clear here that as a part of the tokenomics, the LQ protocol will be releasing every epoch or every five days, about 35,000 of the LQ tokens on the market. So keep in mind that that's going to translate to about 1 million ADA coming onto the market that does need to be soaked up by the community. And so in closing, again, I just wanted to highlight the fact that the team has completed their vacuum labs code audit and they're now officially live on the main net. Let me know what you guys think about the LQ protocol down below. Again, check out the recent tutorial that I just made highlighting the entire test net. And again, how you can supply, borrow, repay, and withdraw your assets. Are you excited for this launch? I know that I definitely am. Again, just seeing the fact that we are now having a growing DeFi ecosystem um, just continues to excite me. And again, hopefully it continues to excite you as well. If you guys appreciate this video, please make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me about the LQ protocol or about DeFi in general on Cardano, then make sure to leave a comment down below. Having said that, I will see you guys in the next video.